Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another video in the fiber laser series and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, air and fume extraction. So initially when I got the fiber laser I just kind of repurposed some old parts from my diode uh, laser cutting days um, for my fume extraction but today we're going to do an upgrade and we're going to uh, change that part out and use a six inch AC infinity fan. I will put a link in the uh, description um, but we're going to definitely make an increase in the uh, amount of air we move uh, for this fiber laser. So let's get into it. So fume extraction is uh, pretty important when it comes to fiber lasers. Uh, really doesn't matter what you're engraving. Um, you really want to get that uh, those particles away from you and out into a different location. So here you can see a uh, nozzle that I printed. It's very handy because it's got these little mounting points here. Um, I'll also put a link uh, in the description to that. So if you have a 3D printer, you can utilize it. And then I'll also put um, the adapter that I'm going to be using because I need to go uh, from this size here, which is about three inches up to six inches uh, for this AC infinity fan. Now, down here I have this old uh, ductwork. This is what I was using before. This is an old, um, this is a Vivo Sun four inch uh, inline fan, and it just really wasn't pulling out enough air uh, to get rid of all of the, uh, you know, particles and whatnot that uh, I was creating. And so we are going to do a little upgrade today and we are going to utilize this six inch AC infinity, uh, the cloud line A6. We've got some uh, duct work there. And so that is the project. The first thing we're gonna take care of is the wiring aspect of everything. So one of the things that's really nice about this uh, AC infinity fan is it's got this uh, long USB cord to the little controller. We'll talk about that in a second or in a second, and then we've got our power uh, connection, and I've got a nice little uh, six port with USB strip on the back of my cart here. Um, I've got it at Walmart, I think, but uh, I don't know exactly where this will end up in the uh, shop, so I'm just gonna leave it on the ground. It may uh, end up that way, but uh, let's take a look at the, the wiring. So I just ran this through the front of my cart, popped it out, and then here is the little controller and this actually has got a magnet built into it. And so it's just gonna sit here right on the front and that gives me the ability to turn on and off the air when I need it and I can control the fan speed as well. The next thing to look at is the duct work and here I have uh, created this. This is just a six inch to three inch um, duct adapter that's gonna fit on the end here of my nozzle and then we will run the tubing down to the fan and then from the fan out to our exhaust port. Step one is complete. We've got the adapter mounted into the air duct. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this uh, duct foil tape and uh, just put it around the edges here just to make sure that it's uh, well sealed and that we don't have this slipping off. And uh, next we'll attach that and then we will run the other end of the duct over here to the fan inlet. One tip that I will give you when you're uh, trimming your piping or this uh, duct work, you can cut through it just with a, uh, with a razor blade, uh, but you'll get to the, um, to the internal uh, metal wire that's in there, and you can just use a, a uh, pair of you know, heavy-duty wire cutters uh, to snip through that. Once you get the piping or the ductwork cut, you can just use a uh, six inch hose clamp here and just tighten that on down. There we go, that's on there now and that is nice and snug. Okay, so now we've got the ductwork on both sides. So we've got our input side and our output side. Uh, one recommendation is going to be to put, um, you really wanna have your fan as close to your output as possible. It's a lot easier to suck air than it is to blow uh, the air through a long duct. So 
I'm going to have a very short run uh, out to the uh, exhaust port, so that's going to be fine. But now we've got this running up and then to uh, our nozzle. Now, I fully realize that I'm losing a lot of uh, air flow capacity by going from six inches down to three inches and then down to here. Uh, but for what I'm doing here, this is going to work just fine. So here is our controller. If I hold that down, then my fan will come back on to the same power it was before. In this case, this is full power. You can hear the uh, fan starting to run. I've got a really nice airflow here. You can feel it's going to be sucking a whole lot more air than that uh, previous fan. And then when I am done utilizing that, I just hit that button one more time and it'll turn off. So there you have it. That is a, an upgrade using a six inch AC infinity fan for a fiber laser. One quick benefit of this setup that I'll uh, cover really quick here is with the way thing that I have everything set here, if I need to move the cart, I can completely detach uh, this here. That is going to be um, easily done. Then I've got my power cable and the USB extension connects right down here on the controller. So now the entire fan uh, exhaust setup is completely separate from the uh, cart and I can move the cart and then move this uh, to a new location. So just a little benefit of the setup that we have here. Hey folks, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that quick little uh, upgrade video on the six inch AC infinity fan for your fiber laser. So if that's something that you uh, are thinking about doing, highly recommended. As always, I appreciate the time that we get to spend together on the channel. Please take a moment to hit the like button, hit that little notification bell, and then hit the subscribe button uh, so that we can continue to hang out together and learn new things about lasers, 3D printers, CNC, all the fun stuff that we cover here on Directed Tech. As always, I appreciate you being part of my journey. Take care, everyone.